Hello students, now we are going to look at uh, how to compute a binomial coefficient. So if you are given say a plus b rise to n, you want to, you know this is a binomial series, it is n choose 0, we can call like that or c of n comma 0, a rise to n, b rise to 0 plus c of n comma 1, a rise to n minus 1, b rise to 1 plus so on. In general plus c of n comma k, a rise to n minus k times b rise to k plus so on c of n comma n a rise to 0 b rise to n so now we are interested in really computing this binomial coefficient so it is given by this recurrence c of n comma k is c of n minus 1 comma k plus c of n minus 1 comma comma k minus 1 for any n greater than k and both of them have to be greater than 0 right so you have to really memorize this if you cannot remember it quite easily. So the way to look at this is if you have a table from 0 through n and 0 to k and we want to compute say c of n comma k is going to be the cell right above it which is n minus 1 row same k the kth column plus the immediate left so c of n minus 1 comma k minus 1 right uh, and this holds good for any cell in this table. Okay, so now we have to of course first initialize this table. So c of n comma zero is going to be one, and c of n comma n is going to be one. Okay, so which means the uh, this entry is all going to be one, and this is the leading diagonal is all all going to be one. So now if I want to compute, uh, for example, let me do pull up uh, Microsoft. Office, if I have one, let's see. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be all your n terms, which are going to be say zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this is your n terms. And then you can have your k terms over here, which goes uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So why we want to do like this? We want to compute 12, comma 5, c of 12, comma 5. So we have our n ranging from 0 through 12, and k going from 0 through 5 right so now let's fill up this table it's going to be a dynamic programming table um, so let's do it like this so it's going to be the leading diagonals are going to be one oh sorry not the leading uh, n comma zero right c of n comma zero is going to be one of course the leading diagonals means here like this right so this is what we have initially and we need to fill up this table right so um, <coughs> the cell here it's going to be the right immediate top which is this plus this so that's going to be 2 this one is going to be 2 plus 1 so that's going to be 3 this is going to be 1 plus 2 so it's going to be 3 so we don't write beyond this once okay so it's going to be 3 plus 1, that is 4. 3 plus 3, which is 6. 1 plus 3 is 4. So it's going to be 4 plus 1, which is 5. 6 plus 4 is going to be 10. 4 plus 6 is going to be 10. 1 plus 4 is going to be 5. 5 plus 1 is going to be 6. 10 plus 5 is going to be 15. 10 plus 10 is, 10 is going to be 20. 15, 5 plus 10 is going to be 15. 1 plus 5 is going to be 6. Okay? So 1 plus 5 is going to be 6. Now you see a symmetry over here. So after the middle term, basically it repeats. Then uh, six plus one is going to be seven. Twenty-one, thirty-five, thirty-five, twenty-one. Right? And it's going to be eight, twenty-eight, fifty-six, seventy, fifty-six. 9, 36, 84, 126, 126, 10, 45, it doesn't repeat here because the 
diagonal is no longer a 1. So you see the reason why it's not like that. Okay, so 120, 216, or 220, or the 206, then 252, right? 11, 55, 165, 326, 458, 1266, 215, 221, 326, 486, 491, then um, 7, 658, 758, sorry, 758, 678, 684. Should be uh, I make a mistake? Uh, Seven ninety two. Let's see where did I go wrong? Oh, this is two twenty, right? Okay, and this is four ninety five. I made a mistake here. Okay, so this is 126 plus 84, so this should be 210, right? So it's 11, 55, 165, 330, 462. So 11 plus 1 is going to be 12, 55 plus 11 is going to be 66, 165 plus 55 is going to be 220. And this is going to be 495. This is going to be 792. So once you get this table, so basically adding the immediate top and the to the left of that. Okay, so if you want to get this 12, it's going to be 11 plus 1. If I want to get the 65, it's going to be 55 plus 11. Right? Now you can use this table to find anything in between. So for example, if I want to find C of say 10 comma 5, all you have to do is look into the table, C of 10 comma 5 is 252. If I want to find C of 8 comma 3, just look into the table, C of 8 comma 3 is going to be this one, it's going to be 56. Okay. We'll stop here.